There we go. There we go. It feels like a nice fish. Yep. Nice red grouper. Awesome, awesome. All right, today I'm gonna to be reviewing the PC Fun Alios 400XH reel. So let's take a quick look at the specs before I open up the box. It has uh, nine bearings, it has a gear ratio of eight to one to one. It has a retrieve per turn of 42 inches per turn, which is, uh, which is awesome, especially if you're offshore fishing like me in deeper water, you wanna get that fish up fast before you know, you have to deal with the sharks or Goliath groupers. It has a max drag of 35 pounds, which is awesome. Most of the fish I catch in the Gulf are less than 20 pounds. There are some exceptions, which are sharks and big grouper. But for the most part, 35 pounds of drag is an awesome amount of drag. The, the weight of this reel, it's only 14 ounces. So you could put that on your medium action uh, rod and... You can go all day without being exhausted. The line capacity. For mono, this reel supports 270 yards of 17 pound mono. But for me, most likely, I prefer to use braid. So you have the option of going up to 165 yards of 80 pound braid, which is awesome. All right, so let's get this bad boy open up and take a look. All right, so just like any anything else we have, we have the manual, basically the basics of using it to prevent, you know, backlash, the clutch system, setting the drag, um, setting the brakes. And one of the main things is just to, um, you know, prevent backlash. So it's important to make sure you have that backlash set up. So yeah, I'm gonna test all these functions out when I get out, when I take it out of offshore fishing. And on the back, you have uh, a parts list. And just like you know, I mentioned before, when you go offshore fishing in salt water, salt water tries to intrude everywhere. So being able to take the, the reel apart and clean it after you know a number of fishing trips is really helpful. And also it helps to know the parts. So should something break, you can actually go out and fix it yourself. All right, let's take her out and see what she looks like. They also include this uh, tool to help you with the maintenance of the reel, so you can open it up and perform whatever maintenance. All right, here she is. Beautiful. This reel has a high strength alumina alloy bracket. And look at that. Nice and smooth. So you have your drag. This is where you set your drag tighter, looser. And right here is where you set your tension. And that controls the rate at which line is released when you're, uh, you're descending, you're, you're dropping your line down. So, you know, that helps to prevent the backlash. A really important thing for me um fishing offshore where you have to deal with uh sharks and um bigger fish trying to take your fish is the amount of line that's re retrieved for each crank each one of these cranks you retrieve 42 inches of line so that really helps getting that line up fast especially in scenarios where you actually you can actually see the shark trying to get your fish that you work so hard to get so yeah i, I really think this is going to be an awesome reel for my offshore trips I'm looking forward to taking her out on the water. See how she performs. So I just got to the first spot. It was a rough ride out, so I only went maybe a few miles. I think I'm about eight miles offshore. Wanted to run deep, but uh, the weather's a bit too much for today. So today I'm gonna be using the PC Fun Alios 400 XH reel. All right, here's the first drop. All right, down at the bottom. Got the gear engaged. 
and let's see where the fishies are. Oh, got the drag. Need to set the drag better. Oh, there, yeah, still got him. There we go. There we go. Feels like a nice fish. Yep. Nice red grouper. Awesome, awesome. Awesome red grouper in my PC Fun Alios 400 reel. As you saw just now, the handle of this grouper, nice and easy. This is a, uh, you know, about a 15 inch grouper. So handle it with no problems. Awesome. All right, sending back now to another piece of uh, cut frozen mullet. Last time down, got me a nice little red grouper. The reel handled it with no problems. And basically the drag is not even 20% um, set. So I'm hoping for a bigger fish next time. All right, just got down to the bottom. Got a customer. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got him. Got to keep him out the rocks. I'm just going to work him. Hopefully keep him out. Don't have to worry too much about the sharks here. Unless this is a shark. You got him like this. Not a lot of reeling going on. Your goal is just to keep him out. From the rocks it's a waiting game thought i made some progress on him but guess not <sighs> all right just finished a battle with a shark and i'm gonna try again yeah last time down hooked into a, a big shark and pretty much when you hook, hook a shark of that size it's almost impossible to get him up but uh i'm gonna go back down again and hopefully uh Get some better luck with him. See if I could turn his head and get him up. He's back already. No, oh, no. Somebody hit it. Hit it already. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got him. Another nice red grouper. But that's not what was hitting me before. Definitely was a shark or Goliath. All right, I'm gonna drop down one more time with the biggest setup with this Alios 400. I know there's a bigger, either group or a shark there. And now I'm intrigued. Now I'm ready to take on a big boy and I'll get broken off again. All right, so I'm sending out a shrimp with a little jig. I think it's called a huggy jig. And let's see what we can do. Hopefully I get into a mangrove snapper Usually in this spot, we catch mango snapper, grunt. A couple of times I caught hogfish here, undersized red grouper here. So, you know, it, it is a productive spot for a grouper. It's just not the spot to find keeper. All right, she's down at the bottom. Already getting a hit, so let's hit the bottom. Okay, we got a... Here we go, here we go. Feels like a nice little fish. Sweet. Mutton snapper. Awesome. They got to be 16 inches and he's short. But that's awesome to see. Got this beautiful mutton snapper on my PC Fun Alios 400 reel. Look at that beautiful fish. Awesome. Go let him go. He's right at 14 inches and they need to be 16 to keep here. Since this is only 46 feet of water, we don't need to vent them awesome all right sending back down another shrimp hopefully i could get into a bigger mutton snapper but yeah you don't see a lot of mutton snappers i've only caught one keeper mutton snapper ever and that was pretty deep it was about 120 foot of water so to see him this close we're only in 44 feet of water so this is awesome all right i'm sending down another piece of shrimp trying to get another big mutton snapper i mean a big mutton snapper already got a mutton snapper. I just need a big one. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a little pass crab swimming by next to my line. That was awesome. All right, just hooked into a nice fish. Oh, beautiful grunt. I would normally keep him, but today I'm not keeping any fish. 
unless it's uh, a keeper size mutton. I ain't gonna send this bad boy home. Today's your lucky day, buddy.